Now since I've been reading a lot of comments on my YouTube videos regarding job opportunities in Germany, I decided to make a video series in which in every episode we are going to pick one engineering field and I will tell you everything you need to know about that specific field with regards to Germany. I'm Bharat Chaudhary and this is the first episode of the video series Jobs 101 in Germany Mechanical Engineering. The machine innovation has always been ingrained in the German engineering culture and that is the reason why there is always a huge demand of mechanical engineers in Germany. And now because of this high demand, a mechanical engineer can take any kind of specialization and then afterwards find a relevant job when their masters is done. Now some of the specializations that you can take in Germany are mechatronics, automotive engineering, systems engineering, production engineering, robotics system engineering, power engineering, computational science and almost every master Process and engineering and management program that comes with these fields because to make processes more efficient and to organize resources better companies always prefer people who had some kind of management experience or management knowledge in their masters now once we're done with the specializations let's talk about money after bachelors the average salary for a mechanical engineer in Germany is 45,531 euros per year or a monthly income of almost 3,800 euros per month without taxes. Whereas masters is concerned, you can expect to earn somewhere around 47,429 euros per year or almost 4,000 euros per month without taxes. Now with the rise in work experience, your salary should rise too and that happens after 10 years of work experience, you can expect to earn 80,510 euros per year without any kind of taxes. Now again, all of this is without taxes if you want to calculate how much much you will earn after taxes I will put some links in the description and you can just check them out just you have to give all these details inside okay you will be earning 6,700 euros per month well that's a lot of money you give that inside you put your Steuer Klasse and everything well I'm going to make a video about it don't worry and then you will get what kind of net income you will have after all the taxes and the social contributions get cut now after this let me tell you some major companies which you should definitely be focusing on some of these companies are Airbus Lufthansa, Otto, Volkswagen Group and Daimler. All of these companies are really big that means they have a lot of revenue and they also have a lot of workforce. That means you also have higher chances there to get assimilated after your masters or after your bachelors is done in mechanical engineering. Now because you're taking out your time to watch this video I'm going to let you in with some really good tips that you should definitely do once you're here. The first thing is when you're doing your masters definitely try to do an internship between your masters. So maybe your masters is for four semesters but try to take one extra semester out, do an internship somewhere if it's not in the same city where your university is. It doesn't matter if you have to fly to Berlin or if you have to fly to Munich. You go there, you stay there for six months, do an internship, get some work experience because the thing is the companies feel more secure and more comfortable in hiring somebody whom they have seen how he works, how he manages people, how he organizes things rather than hiring a total stranger whom they have just known for 15 minutes in an interview. So this is a really important point if you can manage to find a work student job or a part-time job or do an internship in some relevant companies this is definitely going to boost up your job chances when you're applying for jobs after your masters is done. Now the second very very important thing is which if somebody denies don't ever take them seriously you need to learn German if you have somewhere around B2 level B1 level that is already a really sweet spot where you should be and if you have B2 B1 the companies can still trust you that this person is going to learn German he is going to integrate better into the team because honestly in the end if you're working in a company it is very important for them to assure that the people in that company feel more comfortable with you that you can work together as a team very easily so this is again something that is very important learn German you have two years and it's more than sufficient time maybe six and nine months would be more than enough for you to learn German and I know how many of you studied properly in your bachelors in mechanical engineering I mean the people who were playing carom in our hostel room most of the times they were just mechanical engineers I'm thinking about it civil engineers were not much better either but anyways mechanical engineers and civil engineers they are always brothers so this was the video guys and feel free to share it with your friends and I'm emphasizing on it because I know most of them don't understand really how the German 
job scenario looks like for mechanical engineering for civil for electronics there are going to be many more videos in this series but for now feel free to share it with your friends because just let them know how awesome Germany is if you want to do your masters there in mechanical engineering and give this video a thumbs up because then I understand that okay you guys took out your time and the video I made for you was beneficial if not you just write it down in the comment section i can try to answer whatever questions you have all of the data and the links that i used to make this video i will put it in the description you can always check it out the main thing is like okay you guys try to research on your own too but most of these articles are in german so that's why well i have c1 level so i can translate it easily to you and i can make these videos and help you out so feel free to share it like i said already and subscribe that's important that's very very important we are really close to 50 000 subscribers well that is going to be insane and i think when we're going to hit 50,000 subscribers we are going to be in india we are extremely excited to meet you guys and it's just two days two three days left and we'll be in mumbai and we'll see you guys there and for everybody else who is not in mumbai i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye